Hi, I'm your District 5 Supervisor, Valley Brown. Today, San Francisco faces serious challenges, and I'm proud to serve you at City Hall, fighting for affordable housing, solutions to homelessness, and keeping our vibrant neighborhoods moving clean and green. I bring a perspective and life experience that's unique. I lost both my parents by the time I was 14. I've been without health insurance, been evicted, and had to live in a van as a child because my mother did not have money for the next apartment. So when I work on homelessness, when I work on housing, it's personal. For the last three decades, I've been your neighbor and your community activist first. I've seen the ups and downs, the booms and busts, and watch our neighborhoods change, sometimes for the good and sometimes for the not so good. So I got involved from the ground up in making community better. I fought to keep our neighborhood elementary school open, end the violence plaguing the district, and made our streets cleaner and more vibrant. My work brought me to City Hall, working for two different District 5 supervisors. I helped create landmark legislation, like the nation's first plastic bag ban and our renewable energy provider Clean Power SF, and our neighborhood preference policy, which prioritizes residents for affordable housing in their own neighborhoods, the first parklets and neighborhood farmers markets in the city, and work to make our streets safer and new protected bike lanes and muni cars. Since becoming your supervisor last year, I've written and passed 30 pieces of legislation. These were passed unanimously by working tirelessly with my colleagues to find creative, progressive solutions to the issues that matter. On housing, I've identified sites for 100% affordable developments and raised the affordable housing requirement in new private developments. I added $40 million to the budget to buy existing buildings where tenants face Ellis Act evictions and funding and housing ombudsmen to mediate disputes between tenants and landlords before eviction notices are ever sent. On homelessness, I work to create the first navigation center for people living in their cars, an experience I know from my youth. I work to open the first resting place in a D5 church so our homeless neighbors can get off the streets and rest and receive food and health care and access to social workers. And I'm committed to bringing a youth navigation center to the district. And on Muni, I uncovered a root cause of delays and helped end the driver shortage, bringing more trains and buses into service. I worked to add Prop D to the ballot, a tax on ride shares that will add millions in funding to Muni and reduce traffic congestion. Finally, representation matters. With women under attack across the country, our voice and our leadership could not be more consequential. Today, only four out of 11 members of the Board of Supervisors are women, including me, and that number could go down to three. I ask you for your vote, not as a politician, but as your neighbor for the past 30 years working to better our community for all. I'm your neighborhood voice, and I'm the only co candidate sole endorsed by the San Francisco Democratic Club, San Francisco Firefighters, San Francisco Chronicle, the League of Conservation Voters, SEIU 1021, the Alice B. Toklas LBGT Democratic Club, Planned Parenthood Northern California Action Fund, the San Francisco Women's Political Committee, United Food and Commercial Workers 64, Local 21, and many more. We've achieved real results together, but there's so much more to do, and we're just getting started. Join us at www.votevalley.com, and don't forget to vote on November 5th. Thank you.